Shalom Aleichem, live at the grapevine. This is the kosher wine review. And if anyone ever has seen one of these things, don't break the surgical needle. Be very gentle. But if you don't use a little bit of muscle, it's not going in. I'm Yoshua Wirth, live at the grapevine. This is the kosher wine review. And today I'm reviewing wines in a very different way because the man whose wines I'm reviewing is behind the camera. Figure that one out. This is Odin Mountain Winery. And uh, this class needs a rinse. And Odin Mountain Winery is the furthest north, east, and one of the highest elevations of all the wines in Eretz Israel. Why do I tell you that? Soil changes, winds that come up from uh, whether it is the other side of the Jordan or the Mediterranean coming up with the cool air in the nights. The, um, how should I say? Winemaking styles. You can choose to do things different because his grapes will come out differently. Why am I telling you this? Because I like his wines. Not just because the soil is good or the winemaking is good or the grapes are good. I like the wines. So if you like a person's wines, you want to learn more about where they come from. Why they come out a certain way they do. Why people use the amount of wood they do. Why they don't use wood. Because then you could look for more wines that you really enjoy of that style. This is one of his top wines. This is the Reserve Cabernet Franc. There are 2,348 bottles of this one made. 2,300 bottles. That's not very many cases. And that is certainly not a lot of wine as the person who's my boss is about to walk by and I'm going to hand him a glass even though he's not on the camera, he's not on the camera you're knocking me on the camera knock me on the camera knock me on the camera, there you go, okay <laughs> I don't edit any of these videos because I want everybody at home to taste the wine and smell the wine in the same way possibly that I do myself a little bit of sediment from the last one, you can drink that, okay? don't be afraid of sediment either the greatest wines in the world are not ultra-fined, we'll look at that term in another day, or ultra-filtered. Why not? Because a little bit of that yeast and a little bit of those grape skins is not a bad thing for these wines at all. It'll probably age, help the aging potential of the wines and it may scare off a few people only looking to spend a ton of money on a wine when they get into really good one. Oh my gosh! You're sure there's sediment on the bottom of the wine, of the glass. I don't understand. I said, oh, you have a real wine. Makes a difference. Let's smell it. Oh, Cabernet Franc. The parent of the Cabernet Sauvignon grape. Mix it with, uh, uh, the, with the Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Franc. You mix it with Sauvignon Blanc and you have Cabernet Sauvignon. This is 18 months in traditional oak barrels. He told me mostly new and finished with a little bit of used wood to give it uh, a little bit of softness, not an overbearing of wood, and also to help in the style that he likes to do, aging capabilities. Mm. A little bit of a yellow pepper, a lot of fruit, a lot of dense, dark fruit. Wow. I almost get incense. Can anyone have burned a really good stick of soft incense? Ketoros. And I don't mean patchouli, and I'm not a heavy oiled one. Ketoros. 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 Ever smelled, um, I can't believe I'm saying this, Nag Champa, it's an Indian herb incense? That's amazing. Wow. It's inviting. Chaim Rachel, let's taste it. I already said a Rachel, I'm not cheating. I'm biased, I love Cabernet Franc, but this is really good. It feels like you're about to go really spicy, but it never gives you the jab of the pepper, but it has that flavor again of going into like a spicy pepper, but it never goes. More of the yellow pepper, a little bit of the Asian herb thing, not going all the way to clove, but kind of. Beautiful fruit that's ripping up the center. This fruit, 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 fruit. fruit darker style, but a little bit of red berry. It's not, it's not just, you know, overbearing heavy Cabernet Sauvignon. It's not, it has a lot, 
more little stuff going on for me. Very smooth wine, full bodied wine, but not a big tank falling on your tongue. And I, I very much enjoy the wine. I'm still tasting the wine. It's a dry wine. It's got a bit of acid. There's definitely some wood going on, but it's more elegant in its composition. It's together, it's balanced. No sour, mucky flavors at the end. No overly sticky. No huge grab here, but definitely in the upper of the palate, part of the palate, it's there. A gorgeous wine. Um, this wine would do great with some like little seared meats. Again, a wine, if you take a challah with some olive oil and herbs and just dip it, chew it, and drink this, you'll probably be more happy than anything. Just have the wine more so by itself and don't try to overdo it. Heck, just have this and challah for dessert. Perfect. I'm done talking about the wine. Find the wine. It's around 50 bucks. If you like really good wine, it's worth it. If you don't like really good wine, try his forest wine out then. Because it's really good wine without spending a ton of money. I'm Yoshua sure Worth, live the grapevine. This is the 2012 Cabernet Franc from Har Odem Winery. This is the reserve, 2,348 bottles made, which basically means there's less of those than some of the rarest cars in the whole world. Find one, drink it.